Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can build a digital store on system.io. Now before we jump in, I do have some awesome bonuses for you. So down in the description, you can get access to my free system.io funnel pack. This includes three done for you funnels, a done for you email sequence, a system.io mini course and my 1k in 30 days blueprint. If you are new to system.io and you do not yet have an account, well you can sign up through this page right here and you can get access to my advanced bonus vault. Inside of here are five additional done for you funnels, five done for you email sequences and my advanced system.io course. Okay so to create our digital store inside of system.io all we are going to do is come up here to the top insights and then go down to digital stores. In here, we can go ahead and create our first digital store by clicking on create and then we can choose a name for our store. So I'm just going to call this the Holden Academy store. Just like that. Then we can click on the URL path and this is going to autofill and we can also go ahead and choose our language. From here, we just want to click on save. And just like this, our store is now created. Now, what we can do, I don't recommend doing this yet, as this is still a very basic layout. We haven't gone ahead and added anything in here, but we can go up and change the design. So as you can see, we have some beautiful designs in here that make this look a lot more professional. But before we go in here and try any of these out, it's better to actually add the links and add in the different things that we are going to be adding to our store. So for now, we can just click back. And then the first thing that I recommend doing is coming up here to edit the header. Inside of here, this is where we can edit our store name, we can edit our bio, and we can add our social media links. So this is usually a link you're going to be sharing on social media. So let's say we share this on TikTok. People can also access your Instagram, your YouTube channel, all of these other things. And we just enter that in here. So let's go in here and I'm just going to call this Holden Academy Store. Then we can go down and we can add a little bio to this. So I just said, I help new entrepreneurs master funnels and digital products to make their first sales online. And then we can go down and add our social media links. So in here, we just enter our usernames on both of these platforms. So we can say the Holden Academy and do the same for TikTok, the Holden Academy. And then if we want to add any more social media, we can click down. And as you can see, we have like YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, all of these other things in here. The last thing that we want to do on this page is we'll just go ahead and save this first, click back into the header. We can also go ahead and add a profile picture into this. So I'm just going to select this profile image right here. You just want to go into here and then you can choose this from your computer, but I already have mine. So I'm just going to select this. And just like that, we now have the header created. So looking at the live preview of our store, we have my profile image. We have my two social media links and we now have my bio. Now, another thing that we want to do before we start going in here and adding these different products and new sections to our store is we want to go to the back end settings. And this is where we can set things up like the currency that we want to use, the payment methods that we are going to accept, and we can set up any search engine optimization. So going in here, we have everything set up in this top section. We can then choose the currency that we are using. So for me, this is going to be US dollars. And then right here, we can now accept payment methods. Now, if you have not yet set up your payment methods, like if you can't turn on Stripe or Apple Pay or PayPal or any of these other options, I've already created a video showing you how to set up these payment gateways. And I will link to that video on screen as well as down in the description. In here, it's also going to ask if you want to display an affiliate badge and essentially promote system.io. So this is essentially going to show a system.io badge on your store. I recommend turning this off. I don't think you can if you are on the free plan, but if you are on one of the paid plans, I would turn this off as it's just a little bit more professional. Then we can go down and we can start editing the SEO. Now for this page, SEO is not going to be super important as you are very likely going to be sharing this on your social media platforms, but it's definitely worth going in here and doing this anyway. So what we can do is we can add a short description. And what I will always do for my description is just save this, go back into the store and into edit header. And I'm just going to copy this and we'll use this as the description. So we can go back into settings and we can paste this in. Then we can add in some keywords. So my keywords are going to be things like funnels and each keyword needs to be separated with a comma. Then we can go for system.io, system, uh, beginners, make money online, all of these other keywords that are relating to my niche. 
Then we can go down here, we can add an author. So I'm going to say that this is the Holden Academy. And then for the image, you don't need a search engine image. So we can click on save. And just like that, we now have all of the backend settings set up. So let's click back into the store. So from here, let's now go in and start filling up our digital store with the different products and links that we can add. So to do this, we want to click on add new digital product. And then we have four options to choose from. We can redirect to an external link. So this is if you want to redirect to a website or maybe you are an affiliate, you can link to your affiliate offers. We then have collect emails. So in here, you can collect emails to build your email list. We can sell a digital download. So this is things like eBooks, PDFs, spreadsheets, templates, and other digital downloads. And then we also have the option to sell a course. Now, what you can also do is if you have a coaching program or a community that you are looking to sell, well, what you can do is you you can actually use the redirect URL right here and you can just link to your coaching or community funnel that you've created inside of system.io. So we'll start off with redirecting to an external link. We can click into this right here and then we can choose first of all an image for this. So in here we can add an image, we can add the text in that shows up and then we can paste a URL. So let's say that you are an affiliate in here, you just paste your affiliate link into the paste URL, you can then add the text and you can add an image. What I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to use this to redirect to one of my funnels, a coaching funnel inside of system.io just to show you this. So the first thing that we can do is actually actually grab that URL that's going to take us to the funnel. So I'm going to open up system.io. We can then go in here to sales funnels and this is my coaching funnel right here. So I'm just going to go to the first page. I'm going to copy this right here and then paste in this URL. Then we can add the title. So we can say maybe something like join my coaching program. For the button, we can maybe change this to say I want to join and right here for the subtitle that shows up underneath we can maybe say accepting new applicants for the next six days for the image that we want to add in here this is like a simple square image so keep that in mind and the way that i would create these is through a tool called canva now, if you want to use Canva, usually this is around 15 bucks per month for Canva Pro, which is the version that you need. However, if you sign up to Canva using the link in the description, you can grab a 30 day free trial. So what we can do inside of Canva, because we need a square image for each of these, we can go in and we can click on create. We can create a new design right here under custom size, and we can set this to 500 width by 500 height. Then we just click on create new design. And in here, this is absolutely awesome, right? So we can go over to search for templates and we can search for whatever you are selling. So for mine, this is a coaching funnel. So I can search for coaching right here. And then we can choose from one of these templates. So I'm going to select this template right here as an example. We can then change this to say maybe Holden Academy Coaching, just like this. Delete the link in bio. We can delete this right here. And we can just drop this in. Then we would, of course, go ahead and just delete what is in here. We can replace these with our own images. But I'm just showing you this as an example. I'm, of course, going to delete this and I'm going to replace this with my own image. So dragging this in, I can pop this image in right here, maybe center myself a little bit. And now we have this created. Now, this isn't perfect. This doesn't look ideal. I would, of course, spend more time on this. But just in this example, I'm going to go ahead and download this right here. And then once this is downloaded, we can come back over to our store click into the thumbnail and then go ahead and upload this. So I'm just going to drop this in, click on upload. We can select the thumbnail right here, click on select, and now this is going to be dropped in. So once we have created this link, we can click on publish right here. And now this is going to be added to our digital store. So that's the redirect external link. Then we can click back in and maybe this time we want to collect emails. So in here, maybe we are running a lead magnet offer and I'm going to be offering a free ebook showing people how to make their first $1,000 online in the next 30 days. So what I can say in here is how to make your first 1K online. We can then go down here and say, enter your email below to receive the free ebook in your email. Then the button can say subscribe. We can change this to say whatever we would like it to say. 
And then for the thumbnail, once again, we can go ahead and create this on Canva, but I already have my ebook template created. So we can go ahead and drop this in right here. And then what we can also do in this area is we can choose what information we would like to collect. So an email is absolutely fine, but I always like to collect a name as well. So we can add a field, we can ask for their first name. I'm just going to grab and rearrange these. So now we ask for their first name, let's make this required and their email. Then we can move over to the thank you page. So once somebody has opted in, what is this actually going to say? They enter their email, they click on submit. So it's going to say, thank you, check your email inbox. And let's actually say your ebook is on its way to your inbox. And if you're wondering about how we would actually go ahead and deliver this, the way that we would do this is through an email sequence. If you don't have an email sequence set up yet, then I will leave the video that I created on email sequences on screen as well as down in the description. So from here, once we have this set up with the thumbnail and the thank you page, we can click on publish. And just like that, this has now been added to our store as well. The next thing that we can do, and this is probably the biggest thing that you are looking for if you're watching this video, is being able to sell a digital product on this store. So let's go ahead and click into that. Inside of here, we have four different pages. We have the thumbnail. So this is what is actually going to show up on your store. People can see this, they can click on buy. It's then going to go through to the digital download. So this is where we upload the ebook, the template, whatever we are selling in here. We can then go to the checkout page and we can write a little bit of copy in here, a description. We can collect that information and we can also set up our pricing plans right here. And then finally, once they have bought this, we can create the thank you page. So let's go ahead and set this up. As this example, I will once again be creating this around the 1K in 30 days ebook just because I have this on hand. So the first thing that we can do is we can upload the thumbnail right here. We can go ahead and drop that in nice and simple. We can then change the title to 1K in 30 days ebook, just like that. With the button, this says buy. I don't really like that as a call to action, so I'm going to say I want it. And then right here, this is a pretty nice subtitle. We can just go in and we can say get access to the, and then we can paste that in, 1K in 30 days ebook after purchase. And this actually doesn't make sense. And transform your financial live today. Okay, cool. So we now have this set up. This is the thumbnail right here. We can then click on next, go over to the digital download. And this is where we actually upload the digital product. So once again, we can select the name. I'm just going to paste this in 1k in 30 days ebook. We can then upload the digital product right here. So I'm just going to go into my files and I'm going to grab this PDF which is right here. So this is the full PDF. We can go ahead and drop this in. And this is what's going to get delivered when somebody actually buys this. So we can drop that in, select that right here and click on select. And now we have this PDF uploaded. Then we can also go down and choose the confirmation email. So this is when somebody buys this, this is how the digital product is actually going to get delivered. So we can click into edit confirmation email right here. We can use the template if we would like, but you can also go in and edit this. The only thing that you don't want to change is you see these little brackets right here. This is what's actually going to deliver the file and this is going to change to the product name. So just write around this, type out what you would like. We can then click on save. We can then go to the next step. This is the checkout page. So once again, we can select the same image, go ahead and drop this in. The sizing is a little bit crazy here. So if you get this issue where the sizing doesn't match, just go over to where we created this on Canva and we can go ahead and reduce the size. So this is my mock-up right here. I'm just going to go ahead and make this quite small. So hopefully this will fit in. Maybe it'll take a few attempts to actually get this. But I'm just going to drop this in the middle download this with a transparent background and then we can go in here and we can try this again so just like that that looks a lot better okay cool so we can drop this in click on select there we go this fits in perfectly so we can now crop this image and now we can see in the preview on the left hand side this looks absolutely awesome so in here we can go down and edit the text or we can just leave this as it is i would definitely go down and add some sales copy into this area and if you want a little bit of a tip you can absolutely use chat gpt to do this so I could go in and I could say, create me a sales page. Let's actually say short, a short sales page description for my 1K in 30 days ebook. Just like that, it's going to generate us a beautiful piece of copy right here that we can go ahead and we can copy and paste. 
just like that. And this looks absolutely awesome. So from here, we can go down. We have the collection info, which once again, I always just collect as first name and the email. And then down here, we can choose the pricing plan. So we can open this up on the right hand side. Then once this is opened, we want to choose a new pricing plan. For the name, we can just call this 1K in 30 days ebook. Paste this in here. On the statement descriptor, so this is what's going to show up on somebody's credit card statement. We can then choose if this is a one-time payment, subscription, or payment plan. And then we can choose the price for this. So let's set this to $19. Click on save. And finally, we can choose the payment methods that we would like to accept. Once all of that has been set up, we can go along to the next step. In here, it says, thank you for your order. Instructions to access your resource have been sent to your email. So you can edit this if you would like, but we can click on publish. And just like that, this is now also going to be added to your store. And then the last thing that we can do is we can go in here and sell a course. I'm not going to go through all of this because this is the exact same thing that we've done where we upload the image, we go through and add the title and the button, and then we can upload the course right here. And we can go through and add all of these different things. What we can do though, is we can rearrange the things in here. So let's say at the top, I want the digital download. We can drag this up. Then I want collect emails. And then we have join my coaching program. You can rearrange all of the elements in this store. Then once we have this finished, let's go up to edit the design right here. And we can choose which design we want to add. And we can see this live over on the left hand side. So I think this one looks absolutely awesome. This is the one that I'm going to go with. So let's go ahead and apply this theme right here. And just like that, this theme is now going to be applied. Once this is done, we can click on view and we can get a full screen view on how this is actually going to look to your customers and your audience that land on this page. And then the link that we want to get to share this with people that you can put in your bios, in your YouTube videos, in all of these different things, is we just want to go back out to stores right here. And then we have the homepage URL. So we just want to go ahead and copy this. And this is the link that you want to share around on the internet that's going to take people over to this page. So that is how you can create a digital store on system.io. If you haven't yet grabbed my free resources and bonuses in the description, the done for you funnels, email sequences, and mini course, then I recommend doing that as that is completely free. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, Take it easy.